Good morning traders, this is Tony D from Easy Markets. A bit of a reversal night overnight. You saw some sharp uh, return to the US dollar after the uh, US dollar was on the back foot for most of the session. So in the US session though, we got some data out, really changed the game. Also some new news regarding the uh, German elections. What's happening there is that although there's a coalition can be formed, probably it's not going to happen until next year. So really sort of taking the gas off that story. Uh, and then when you had this record surge in uh, US housing numbers overnight, uh, it, there's every reason in the world for the US dollar to push back and that's what you got. Let's have a look at the hourly here. You can see Euro got all the way to 119.60 before reversing. Um, coming back down to 119 but now you know tensions all focused on the US because there's a tax plan uh, the, the schedule and timeline for the next two weeks is you got to get this passed uh, Trump's pushing for it now and the uh, there could be a vote as soon as this week if they can get some of the uh, reluctant senators uh, to put their name on the uh, to sign on to this there's a couple out there who are holding out for some uh, changes one of the most commonly asked for change at the moment is they want to trigger where they'll reverse these tax cuts if uh, spending uh, gets to a certain uh, level. So this trigger uh, is, is where they, if revenues keep on falling, they uh, will get out of these tax cuts just so they can get a bit more money coming in. Now, that might be a bit of a solution that they can live with over there in the US, um, depending on also you know how hard they push against the uh, push back against some of the other inclusions from the Democrats as well and just where the opinions is generally tax cuts are pretty easy to pass though if you're looking at the public's view uh, what's going on in terms of timeline though is that the debt ceiling in the US also has to be uh, lifted by the uh, 9th of December and then on the 12th of December uh, one of the Senate seats is up for grabs uh, there's a big uh, a debate going on at the moment about uh, that particular seat. You've probably seen that in the news with Roy Moore, uh, which Trump is backing versus the Democrat, uh, who is, um, you know, if they were to lose that, then the, the majority in, in the Senate goes from 52 to uh, 48 down to 51 to 49. So that could make things a lot more difficult when it comes to uh, any sort of debating uh, bills going forward. So they really have a timeline here. They have to get this bill passed, this tax cut passed uh, in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see what the news flows through. Uh, but overnight, there was a few speakers, uh, a few senators who come out showing their reservations. Uh, they changed their tune though. Perhaps the US dollar and the stock market can continue the rally. Although you have to say that the US stock market has priced in uh, fairly well. A lot of good news here. So the uh, volatility is probably going to continue in the next two weeks, uh, both ways. You know, if there's any signs of tentative, uh, Ness here or delays in getting the tax cut passed uh, that would bring US dollar selling and stock market down and then eventually some sort of compromise pass and then back to the, the trend is probably going to happen so keep you uh, be very nimble if you're trading uh, if you're trading also the Bitcoin just remember that the CME is coming online in early December too that's um, a big chunk of new traders with huge balances with the ability to sell and buy so it doesn't automatically have to be a one-way street of buying especially if the market's up $2,000 uh, or near that 10,000 level into that announce, into that initiation, uh, you could see a buy the rumor, sell the fact. Uh, that sort of thing happens all the time in the markets where you have this news coming out. Uh, you are going to get all these new traders coming in and then if the price doesn't keep on going higher, the disappointment sets in and that can lead to profit taking. So the volatility is going to be pretty extreme. Um, in December for Bitcoin as well, but just keep an eye on what happens at 10,000 if we do test that level. It's been as high as 9798 so far, um, so getting pretty close to that trigger point. Uh, there could be some sort of uh, profit taking just generally from hitting such a big level, uh, especially given the market has risen so dramatically this year. Uh, so let's, but let's see, the good news keeps flowing through in terms of adopt, uh, adopting news. You are seeing daily more and more businesses uh, opening themselves up to Bitcoin. So there is that um, positive momentum behind it. Also in terms of just general uh, inquiries from investors about Bitcoin, that's fever pitch at the moment. So you can see all those signs of traditional bubbles are there, but also, you know, what stage of the bubble are you in? If you are viewing this market in such a, a emotional state. Uh, if you're looking at some of the other interesting moves overnight, the outperformer was the Kiwi dollar. All right, that has uh, been a little bit surprised because it's usually the uh, weakest pair. There wasn't any specific data that helped that. It just uh, was taking, making money against almost all the crosses. Uh, so the big one there that we watch here in Australia is the Aussie Kiwi. Now it broke back underneath 110, a big level on that market. So you have to keep an eye on it, see if it can hold here or not. Um, big level, worth a 
worth a little test in terms of support here uh, we'll see if it can hold get back above in the next couple of days and people will be a bit more excited to be holding the 110 uh, on the long side but yeah at the moment the kiwi dollar is very strong and uh, well supported and so at, you can't really um, uh, you can't really be too negative or well, expect that the kiwi dollar is going to get out of control it can't really go by itself aussie dollars struggling and canadian dollars also struggling so the whole commodity complex apart from the kiwi dollar isn't doing that well uh, seems like just a little bit of uh, taking advantage from this particular pair in the last 24 hours uh, so the euro usd reversal uh, didn't lead to any sort of us dollar strength though that uh, you would want to play in terms of dollar yen dollar yen's right back at the 111 uh, really struggling here to hold its gains. US yields are struggling as well to hold their gains. Still above 2.3, but dollar yen buying has been uh, subdued at the level so far, and the bounces have been sold into. So you've got to be pretty careful. Any sort of negative news, uh, stock market weakness from here would still hurt the dollar yen going down. It's not like uh, correlations have broken to the downside. It's just uh, stocks going up and uh, good news, good US dollar stories aren't helping the dollar yen, but negative ones are hurting still. So that's where you have to be worried that this is going towards that 110 level, which is such a, a much bigger support and probably where you would get a lot more buyers coming in to protect. Uh, the other big mover overnight, you can see here gold surge back above 12, um, 1290. It's uh, looking well supported here, 1300s on the cards. Uh, didn't really test it yesterday, got pretty close though. We'll see if we can get back towards it in the coming days. Wouldn't take much to push it above that level if you do get some negativity regarding the tax plan or some sort of uh, uncertainty regarding the tax plan. Um, but then again, if it does hold underneath it and then you do get the tax plan being passed, then we are a little bit rich given where we've uh, been down towards that 1260 a few times in the last month. All right, traders, if you have any questions, come through, have a chat with the dealing room. Uh, you can get those contact num numbers below. Uh, we talk about specific crosses or pairs that you're looking at. If you want to talk, if you're not a member of the Active Traders uh, group here at Easy Markets and you do want to have a chat with the dealer, uh, you can click on the link below as well. Uh, get access here from as little account balance as 5000